Welcome again, I'm Claudia from Harnet.es and today I want to show you how I clean my paintings and how I leave them ready to use for any of my projects. So in the last video I show how to scan the paintings and you can check it out in my YouTube channel. But in this one I'm gonna directly start with the painting scanned. So this is the image I scanned. I drag it to my Photoshop and once I have it open, the first thing I'm gonna do is to work a little bit on the colors. So how I do it, it's by coming to layers and selecting this option from here, which is gonna create an adjustment layer and I'm gonna come and select curves. This is gonna bring me the curve selector, but for now I'm not gonna change nothing here. I'm just gonna come back to layers and I will see that this is affecting this layer. But in case I have many layers or some layers below this one, I can come in between both layers and pressing Alt, I will click and this arrow is telling me it's gonna, it's gonna only affect to this layer. So coming back to the effect I want to do, as you can see this is changing nothing because I haven't selected nothing here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click over the layer of curves and I'm gonna select from the drop down soft light. As you can see, it pops up the color and it makes it, um, it gives more contrast. Sometimes I duplicate this layer or I create the same but with levels. Let's see how it looks. So again, I just select levels, I come to layers again, I select this one and I can select soft light and maybe this is too much but I like how is it going so the, the thing I can do is just selecting this layer I can come to opacity and put it maybe at half okay so now that I have all this and I have it as I like it I can group all the layers and work on deleting the background to group them I will select them all pressing first on, the, on one of the layers and then pressing shift I will click on the last one so it will select all the layers in between and I'm gonna come and press command E and it's automatically joining all the layers. Now the next thing I want to do is double click this layer because as you can see it's blocked so I will double click it will pop up this I can give him a, a name but I don't care I will not I will just press OK and here we have the layer unblocked. Okay, now let's go on and take the background. There are two ways I use. So the first one, it's very simple. You come here to the, pane, to the panel of tools and you select this fourth tool. It's called Magic Wand. And if you are not seeing it, probably it's because you see any other from its group. So you can select a little, so by pressing a long time, you will have all the options. And if you have the quick selection tool, you can switch it to the magic one. So I'm gonna select this one and check up here that you have this option selected or maybe this one, which means that every time you click, it will not duplicate, but it will add a new selection. So it will not change the selection. With this one, I will do one selection. And if I click again, the previous selection will disappear and the next one will be the only one selected. And with this one, they will be adding one after the other. So I will not lose the previous ones. For now, I just want to do one selection. So I'm gonna stay with this one. And the tolerance, I will put it around 30. Because as you can see, if we scroll a little bit, you can see there is texture in my paper. So I want this texture to, grow, to go and that's why the tolerance are needed a little bit higher. So all we need to do is press in any of the white areas in the paper and it will automatically select everything that has the same tone. As you can see, it's selecting everything, but it's missing these areas with the white part inside. And to have them, I can come here and press this one and press them in all the white areas and as you can see, it's adding the selection. So now that I have them selected and we could even take these ones, but the smaller, the harder. So with the next way, I will show you how you can 
take these small selections easier. Okay, so um, with this selection, we are just gonna press delete in our keyboard. And because we have our layer unblocked, it's totally deleting it. And we can press now Command D to unselect and save this as PNG, ready to use in any project you want. But first, I'm gonna show you the other way. So I'm gonna press Command Z. Now I'm gonna press Command D to unselect and I'm gonna start over. The other way I like to use, especially when my paintings have some areas that are a little bit transparent, it's by coming to Select, Color Range, and just pressing with this drop down, drop tool, uh, you can just select the area you want, so I want the white, and here you can see that in white, it's telling me the selection that it's gonna do. Here, you could select more or less. You see that if I move to less, some areas with shadows or with texture of the papers are applying. So what I want is to be very clear in what I want to select. I'm gonna stay around here. I'm gonna give it with selection, so everything is good. I'm gonna press OK and now you can see that my selection automatically takes all the small, even these areas here that they were smaller before to select. Now they are very well selected and we can follow the same process. We just press delete, then command D to unselect and we can save it as PNG or PSD as you want. I hope you find this tutorial easy and it helps you prepare your paintings. Remember that I'm teaching you how you can paint these leaves in another tutorial, how you can scan them. Now I, I taught you how you can clean the background and I have another tutorial where you can learn how to create patterns from it. And later on I'm gonna teach you how you can create a packaging box for your product shipments on Christmas and some other cool stuff for Christmas. So stay in my uh, channel, subscribe if you want, and stay creative. Bye bye.